Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your May 16th, 2023, Jupiter Entering into Taurus reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, especially since I had to take that break due to family health issues and, you know, just a lot of things went on. So thank you all so, so very much for all your assistance, all your help. You guys are absolutely amazing. So once again, thank you for helping me with the YouTube algorithm. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of. Because this is the first time that Jupiter has entered into Taurus in 12 years. So it's going to be a big shift and one that I'm rather excited for. So let's see, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is the Nine of Cups. Interesting. I just heard you have to show up for the table at the table for yourself. There is a sense of like, I want others to show up at the table for me during this time or just even from this May 2023 to May 2024. But I first have to show up at the table for myself. And that's going to be a really big thing. It's like, can you first celebrate you? before needing to be kind of validated by anyone, anything else. And it's not an ego thing. It's not saying, oh, don't seek out approval from anybody else. Because of course, we're human. We need that. But it's like, I have to show up for me first. And that's going to be one of the challenging things during this time is to be able to really embody that. And that's very much a Jupiter Taurus energy is to show up for ourselves. Remember, Jupiter is the Roman name for Zeus, right? So he's, you know, the, the leader of, of the Pantheon. And there's a real sense here when Jupiter is next to any planet or any, any sign or anything like that, it enhances that sign. It enhances a planet. So it enhances the energy of Taurus, meaning that yes, we can be more stubborn, kind of like a bull in a China shop if we look at the negative energy, but we can also be way more stable, way more calm, way more, you know, prosperous, practical, you know, sensual in our own lives and really enhancing up an abundance. There's also with Jupiter, Jupiter is the planet of abundance, knowledge, and positive change. So we're going to see that energy coming in quite profoundly and quite beautifully. We're also going to feel more relaxed and comfortable in our own sit, in our own skins and confident in ourselves. And so the nine of cups for me is really showing that that can be something that we have a bit of a challenge with. But during this time, it's like, no, be confident, be comfortable, be relaxed within you and embrace who you are. So that's going to be really cool. Let's see the message from spirit, angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly angels. Here we have manifest. Now, what I love about this is the energy of Jupiter. And actually, this is the first time that this has really come through quite clearly to me is, you know, from spirit is that Jupiter and Taurus are both energies of manifestation. Taurus is a fantastic manifester in our earthly plane. And Jupiter is a fantastic manifester just in and of itself. So during this time, whatever you want to manifest within your life, however you want to move you forward, embrace it. Embrace it and do it. You know, this is a time to really look at your goals, look at what you want, remember that you matter, and embrace 
manifestation vision bar boards, <clears throat> excuse me, vision boards, journals, whatever helps you, you know, focus like laser focus on your goals and manifest. This is the time to bring in, you know, kind of the big guns, bring in that fantastic power to be able to manifest what you want and to be able to really look at what you desire. It doesn't mean that we'll get everything that we want. No, that's not how life works, but it's remembering our dreams matter and remembering that we matter. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Okay. What's very interesting here is that we have the king of pentacles reversed. Now, this is earth sign energy, Taurus energy in the minor arcana. So we can feel a bit uncomfortable with this Taurus energy. Now, it's going to be interesting because we're moving out of Aries. Aries is our sister sign. So Jupiter was in Aries, and now it is in Taurus. And with a sister sign, it can bring out the best and the worst within us. So we could have a love, you know, hate relationship when, when Jupiter is in Aries or with anything that's in Aries during, during that time. But it moves us out of the combative or, you know, kind of ready for battle. Yeah, combative energy of Aries and into more of the stubborn, calm energy of Taurus. So what this is really showing me here is that getting our footing with this shift we can feel like we stumble a bit. We can feel like, okay, I don't have that confidence or I don't have that power that I once had around me. Why is that? It's because Aries for us made us made it easier to fight. It did. It makes it easier to fight. It makes it easier to, you know, go after what it is that we want. We have that warrior general spirit that says, I'm going, I, I know what I want. I know what I need. And I'm going after it with single-minded determination. We have that determination with Taurus but it's much more home-based. It's much more us-based. You know, this is, this is a time where we find ourselves seeping into ourselves more, not looking outwardly and saying, what, this, what needs to be conquered? You know, what do I need to achieve? What battles need to be won? But looking inwardly and saying, how do I set this up so that I am the happiest with me, so that I am the calmest, most beautifully aligned with me? And that can be something right here with the king of, of pentacles that we have a bit of difficulty with. So if we feel like we're a bit stuck or it's not moving as quickly financially as we would like it to, just be aware of that, that we're having a bit of a stumble shift. You know, it's kind of like when you're you're walking along and the, and the terrain changes and, and you stumble a little bit or your legs get tired or, you know, start to burn because the muscles that you were using change. That's the energy that's going to come into the king of pentacles. So just be aware of this during this time. We're crowned with the nine of wands. We are so done with fighting. I mean, seriously, we were good at it with Aries energy. Aries energy makes everybody really good at, you know, kind of the big battles, right? And it was enhanced by Jupiter. So really we could soar high with that energy, but we're tired with it. And we can find with Taurus energy that we can shrink away from a battle. I mean, gosh forbid, you know, Taurus shrinks away from anything. But with our Libra sensibility and balance, we can find that for ourselves. But this is also going to be a time where we step into our own bodies, we step into our own selves, and we say, I'm allowed to be tired. I'm allowed to be overwhelmed. I'm allowed to say, you know what, this is just too much, right? And and take time for me. Or to say, I, I can't handle X, Y, Z and and mean it. So we're going to be a lot more aware of ourselves physically with our own limitations and even mentally with our own limitations. So just be aware of this. This could be something that we rebel against, you know, depending on our personalities, because these are general readings, right? But what Spirit is saying here is that we're just really tired of the fighting. But we've come through so many battles and we need to honor that within ourselves. The six of wands, celebration, beauty, success, a real sense of I'm celebrating me, which is what Spirit is telling us to do right here. Celebrate you, embrace you you know, lift yourself up. And that's going to be the energy that you use to move forward in what you love and what you want and who you are within yourself. It brings us to the 10 of swords reversed. We're releasing so much negative energy sent to us, you know, injected into our ears by other people. And there's this real sense of I'm releasing it. I don't need this anymore. I'm not staying overwhelmed, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, in my own emotions. I'm, you know, and, and being caught in our own minds because as air sign energies, we're represented by the swords in the minor arcana. It's very easy for us to get trapped in our minds, in our thoughts and feel overwhelmed because of this. This is going to be a time where we're like, mm, 
you know what? I'm letting that go. I'm embracing a healing on me. I'm embracing a balance within me. And it, it can be tricky. You know, getting our footing is going to be tricky, but we're going to start seeing things differently again. We had a revelations, we had revelations and and you know awakenings before. And now we're going to have other ones. So this can also be tricky because with the hangman reverse, it's like, okay, I'm seeing things differently, but now I'm seeing things differently again. Like, what the heck is going on? Like I thought I had this all figured out. Don't think you have everything figured out. You know, if there's one thing I learned, I have learned in my life, it's that when you think you have everything figured out and you're on even footing, spirit will throw you a curveball that just knocks everything out of alignment for you and puts you on a new path, a different path, but a powerful path for you spiritually and personally. So the hangman very much is showing us here that we're seeing things differently again. And as we see this differently, we embrace ourselves, we embrace what we want. We look at ourselves more with compassion and knowing that, you know, it's, it's like Plato said, all is flux and nothing stays the same. Everything is constantly changing. Everything is constantly evolving. And we're seeing that within ourselves. So be kind with that because a lot of ideas that we thought, oh, set in stone, totally have this figured out. They're going to be changing again. And it's just us growing. So just know that like a plant, you're growing towards your light, which is your soul's purpose. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the sun reversed. So this is a no answer. If you're looking for an answer card, you know, subconsciously right here to be mindful of is a no answer. This is also a sense of what you think is totally smooth sailing. You're going to hit a couple of bumps along the way. So just be aware of this or just know that if something is really smooth, really, you know, heading in a certain direction, you think, oh, I don't have to worry about this. Spirit's going to be like, spirit's going to throw this back up at us to, to look at. There could also be somebody in our lives. I usually see this as sons, right? Because it's a little boy on the sun and also sun, but that we think is just fine. Like we don't have to worry about them. They're just fine, you know, type of thing. No, you're going to have to look at this, this child a bit more okay? if you have children or if you work with children. And I do see this more as a masculine energy, but this can also, this could also, you know, very easily be a girl or however, you know, that child identifies. But there's this real sense here of, of I need to be paid attention to, you know, I'm not going to be, I'm not the one right now, or I usually am the one that can be put on the shelf and not really worried about, but right now I'm going to need your attention. So, so just be aware of this. Our subconscious spirit message here is inspire. You're going to be inspiring yourself. You're going to be inspiring others, but you're going to be inspired. And it's by the littlest things, things that you don't usually notice, you really hadn't had in your sphere of consciousness before. Now they're going to start to inspire you and you're going to start to be inspired by them. So knowing that is going to be a really cool thing, inspiration. You know, just kind of collecting things that inspire you, that are beautiful to you, is going to be very powerful. Our subconscious tarot message here is the emperor reversed. And this is Taurus. This is not Taurus. This is Aries energy. So we have Taurus energy that we're a little bit tricky with. Aries energy, we've been tricky with too. I mean, again, our sister sign brings out the best, brings out the worst in us, as sisters do. Here with Aries energy reversed, we can be having a bit of a difficult time remembering to stand up for ourselves and be a great leader without being a tyrant. So know that that is a, a life lesson for Aries energy or people with Aries, a lot of Aries energy in their charts or even just Aries energy in their charts. Now, this can also mean for us that we're having problems with tyrannical people, okay, subconsciously. So just be mindful of this. Be mindful of, I don't want to be boxed in. I don't want to be told what to do. Sometimes, you know, life is about being boxed in and being told what to do. And we can be rebelling against this, but we also have to know where this energy is coming from. And if we know where the energy is coming from, we can center ourselves. We can heal ourselves. We can see ourselves moving forward in grace and in purpose. All right. We can also just be having difficulty with an Aries subconsciously, and we need to bring that subconscious to the surface. All right. All right, Libra. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Libra. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.